Hello, this is Haku the Bean, and today we are going to be tumbling yet again. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I think that we, as a society, should get more comfortable with the idea that sometimes our friends will be attracted to us, and sometimes we will be attracted to our friends, and nothing needs to come of that. You don't have to date, you don't have to stop being friends, you can just keep hanging out. Self-control and respect exist. And sometimes you will date your friend and figure out that your dynamic worked better when you were friends, and then you can go back to being friends. It's really quite simple. Mature and cool even. Yep. I know um, one that uh, on um, the writer YouTuber who, who, who likes to brag about how they never talk to their exes and is like, but did you not work as friends? Anyway. Even requited attraction doesn't need to be acted upon. Two people can be mutually attracted to each other and still decide not to date or not to change the dynamic of their friendship. People who are dating can mutually decide it works better as a friendship, even if the attraction persists. Feelings are just feelings. Not all feelings need to be realized as actions. It's very mature and cool to still treat people like people even after learning about their feelings, whatever they are. Still, drawing I'd like to finish. In a better universe. The thing about all these Disney remakes is that most of them, it feels like if someone said, I'm going to make a live action remake of Edward Munch's The Scream, and then he just took a pic photo of some bald guy screaming on a bridge. I mean, all the elements are there, but he changes all the expressionist elements in favor of realism, losing most of the things that made The Scream one of the most important, if not the most important, pieces of the Norwegian expressionism. If we just keep it the general composition and maybe it makes some little changes, just enough to make it feel kind of different, but not enough to be relevant. Change the long sleeves or short ones, or maybe even add a new character in the back who will be there. But at the end of the day, that won't, won't be really important. But losing the colors, the shapes, the brush strokes, the style. Ugh. Yeah, this does um, lose a lot when you just have a bald guy screaming on, on a bridge. It's just a bland looking photo of a guy screaming. That's only really relevant mostly because of the audience already being familiar with the original artwork. Accurate. Also, for Earth on that, it's impossible for, for, for autography to capture the scream. Not only because of the sky. Uh, because of the sob, but because of the, so uh, the sky. The inspiration was a horror at seeing the effects of of Krakatoa from um, halfway across the world with no understanding of why the sky had changed colors. Yeah, I like the artwork way better anyway, just because it's just better, objectively. As someone who has actually studied the English language, there is a common phrase about English that kind of annoys me because it makes, well, because well, it makes for a funny haha -ha line. It's such a gross it's oversimplification that actually seems to be funny. It's the one that goes English. The English language is the third language to stack on top of each other wearing a trench coat or something to that effect. 
I'm not going to go into, in, into detail as to why that is inaccurate. Just take my word for it. As a person with a master's in English, I just re withdraw his, his expression from usage and replace it with the much more accurate. The English language is a. <laughs> I can't read that. It's a dirty little a person that loves it with other languages, not big loads into it. There we go. Like a washing machine. Post without tags? Adding tags to your posts helps people find them. You know what, Tumblr? I don't think this one deserves to be found. Agreed. Holy crap. What do you get when you who mix alcohol and literature? Tequila Mockingbird, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Ernest Hemingway. Wait, I don't know that last one. <laughs> Saw the Italian today. Are you safe? Bowed or domesticated? There are two types of people in the world. Thinking about the time I said all I want to do is be a little hater, but I'm so bad at hating things. And this girl grabbed my face with both hands, looked deep into my eyes, and said, I can teach you. I could make him worse mentality. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly the vibe. <laughs> Friend of mine tried to sell his soul on eBay and decided to price with ten dollars we were being on before anything actually happened. Even took it down and sent an email explaining that he, if he was selling a soul that didn't exist and it was against the policy, if he, if he was selling a real soul, then that is a human body part and it is also against the policy. Well done, eBay, for solving that philosophical conundrum. No, they just killed it. They didn't solve anything. They shut down before it could be solved. <sighs> Did you know that proper pearl necklaces actually have knots between each pearl? This is done to stop the pearls from rubbing up against each other, or potentially causing damage and discoloration to each bead. And also, that if the string breaks, it's unlikely that any more than one or two pearls will fall off the string. Pearl necklaces and bracelets for the matter need restring regularly to make sure that the string isn't stretched, frayed, or otherwise damaged, which would put the whole, put the ne which would put the necklace at risk of breaking. And when they are restrained properly, new knots are always tied between each pearl. This post brought to you by the Stop Making Pearls Scatterer Whenever You Break Up Fancy Ladies Necklace for Murdering Her. Her thriller writers, all you are doing is really she was wearing crappy plastic beads, gang. But the drama. Drama doesn't it matter when you're trying to be realistic. Or say someone is actually reached when they aren't. New SVS Oda. We see many but uh, we see many drawings with angles of butts in the future island. I try to make a different design for the present day. I end up with a costume that shows butts. I research how to draw sexy butts. It's fun to draw butts. It's now because I can draw them well. Oda if I got how to draw butts. This is my peak. <laughs> what? Okay. Hey. <laughs> Saji will defeat Kizaru. Saji versus Saturn. Or it will happen. Sanji will get cock in this arc. Who will get what? In this arc, Saji gets dick and balls. I am. 
I am scared, and I might be clicking out of this earlier. Dang, Tumblr really is kind of crazy today. The Tumblr stuff right just went crazy today. I don't know why. I don't care about HP, but at all. But two things that, that freaked me up was a sub timing that he did before Blood Store, Blood Spell, the entire first film, and also he was the only set with glasses in the entire series. I got an A and a special acknowledgement from my religious studies professor for an essay on how the Hogwarts swing at ceremony was the ritual of, male, of birth envy from Dumbledore gives birth to the new students. What? And also, Dumbledore is a trans man? Let's go. More stuff up to. Well, absolutely rust. Okay, Ava? You gotta explain that one, buddy. The essay has been lost in time, but the gist of it was that uh, Dumbledore is seated on a gray chair above the students, reminiscent of a mother in a burning chair and syrups. The story had engulfed the whole head like a vaginal canal. The students see only darkness, and they hear a strange voice speaking to them. They only emerged, or birth, once their identity has been decided. They are granted a soul. They blink in the bright lights, confused, and sometimes cry and miss cheer, celebration, etc. McGonagall leads the new students into the hall. Oh, but once the story hat begins, the Elmador takes over. She doesn't speak. She's not mentioned again until the next chapter. And neither is any other woman. Dumbledore wants to give birth. Freaking amazing. You're onto something. Dumbledore was trans in some way. It's official. And I don't care what the author says. The oh, maybe I do like Girls Star Pack. I did not need to be targeted like this, you frick. <laughs> oh. Oh no. When your therapist says, you want to know what I think, and you know you're about to be read for filth. I don't know what that means, but okay. <sighs> Rawls and Alabama are the same in concept. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. And you'll see the bad Alabama incest joke that I just made. The House of Habsburg. The House of Windsor. Ross is where every single member has the same horrible, hor horrible face. Is one of the funniest of elements of monarchism. The House of Habsburg. The House of Windsor. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Not surprised though. Here you perform inbreeding, that's what happens. Everything turns out bad. Me. <laughs> I have to laugh. You're realizing I'm an adult with actual responsibilities. God's joke went a bit far. No kidding. I eat a lot of bread because it's soft and I deserve it. Also, I am gorgeous. Every bird ever. Hey, that's me though. So it's not bread, just anything. The Forbidden Pool.
every so often I know I'll blow up through my nub, so I mean, I'm actually, it, it, it water is only radioactive at the bottom, so it's perfectly safe to swim here. Yeah, bitch, swim in the reactor pool, see if I freaking care. So as far as swimming safely goes, the bottom line is that you'd probably be okay so long as you didn't dive to the bottom and pick up it, or pick up anything strange. But just to be sure, I got in touch with a friend of mine who works at a research reactor and asked him what he thought would happen if you tried to swim in their, their radiation containment pool. In our reactor? He thought about it for a moment. You'd die very quick before reaching the water from gunshot wounds. Yeah, I mean... If the guards weren't there, let's say. Her red flags are huge. I saw her boobs. I didn't miss her red flags. I thought they were sexy. Sega memes. You know what? Details are so real on this one. We can make mistakes. We don't have to regret. Oh, that was a different and uh, entitled. We all make mistakes in the heat of passion. Oh dear. Just posting. That's me when I upload a video. I hope I'm funny enough to be considered a jester. POV, and I just made an inappropriate joke about your variety in front of the whole royal court, and you want to punish me, but you can't react to the anger lest the court think my joke is true. <laughs> if I was a king and you, the court jester, looked at me like this after making that joke, I would rather your tweaky clown ass that night to prove you wrong. Oh my goodness. That's not what you said last night, Nave. And then later, we freaking the world of bed chambers. Thank you all for understanding my, my chamber. Which is immense sexual tension between <laughs> a jester and their king. What the heck? Why do I have to read these things? Maybe I can skip posts I don't like. ADHD just makes you really bad at capitalism, unfortunately. Yeah, I noticed every single oh, oh, like word in that post was lowercase. Like, bro, I'm just floating in, in a bubble detached from the flow of time. You want me to work eight-hour shifts? Oh, you mean that. I'm sorry. I thought it was capitalism, and I was, uh, and I was about to explain. Yeah, that's actually why my descriptions never have capitals, and why my titles barely have capitals on my videos. I think I'm going to uh, do today's video in just complete lowercase, just to go mess with everyone. I am built to sit up from um, sun down to sun up with minimal food and less like watching for intruders or little animals that I can kill. That requires very little of what would actually be called work, and a whole lot of just zoning out because my eyes and ears are naturally tuned to picking up and focusing on changes to the environment. I am not built for the 9 to, nine to 5 office world, Janet, unless your, your job requires me to persist and hunt Mark for sport. Lexi United and made off to his prime. It's beautiful! Low key kind of is, so. God, the true crime people in the in Five Nights at Freddy's universe must be freaking insufferable. Actually, who do we think would be worse? The true crime people or the Fazbear version of Disney adults who just completely ignore the murder thing? So the guy on Twitter chuckling tweets, It's okay to sexualize Shika considering she's yellow and yellow chickens are baby. Is it okay to sexualize Shika considering she's yellow and yellow chickens are babies? Or is it find out 600 and... 
retweets, and threads later that this has been a long signing discourse within the fast for fan community. And if people want to watch yourself along, it's okay to be attracted to Glamrock Chica because she's got white feathers and she's an adult now. And it's always like, does that mean the OG, Freddy, and Bonnie were trolling because they have to be like the same age, right? So what about people who want to fuck Bonnie? And some innocent souls like, what do you do to people who want to fuck the animatronics? Oh, you dear innocent baby. You guys want to fuck the animatronics? Are you being very phobic right now? What? This continues on for three days until someone just says, guys, seven children died. What did I just read? <laughs> that was a whole string of thought that I did not understand a single word of. They've been placating us with bread and circuses for so long, but now the bread's too expensive and the circuses are on strike. Something's gotta give. Let them eat clowns. And the sass quota is maintained another day. Okay, this is gonna have to be... Eat the last one. To a homophobe, even the most chaste kiss on the cheek between gay people is exactly as disgusting and degenerate as a BDSM orgy hosted in Town Square. You may as well ally with the BDSM orgy and through it. It was just to throw bricks at the cops who are going to try to arrest all of you together anyway. Yes, please stop trying to be one of the good ones. They don't exist. You are literally just a tool so that homophobes can and hide their homophobia. Because if you dare to exist as yourself around out on the right wing, you will all, all, all still be already called as a piece of crap because a white right wing is literally about nothing but trying to commit genocide on you. Don't try to be a good one. Be evil. Make problems. Be gay. Do crime. I will have to say here that I actually don't condone the a doing of crimes because I don't want to get sued by YouTube. Anyway, if you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!